All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day. I have a new toy. I'm going to completely unwrap it with Todd right now, do a little time lapse for you guys, and then we'll go over the rundown on the kayak, but I wanna make sure it's unwrapped and ready for you guys to see. So let's get to taking all this wrap off this kayak. All right, so we just undid everything. This box contains a lot of important stuff for the kayak. Also, hey Todd, um, the kayak came with a paddle. I think all the kayaks come with the paddles. Do you want them? Because <laughs> you don't have an actual pair of paddles. <laughs> I have a paddle, it's just garbage. This one probably isn't that good because it came <laughs> for free. But if you want them, Todd found a pair at like a pond or something. So, all right, let's come down this way. When my channel first started, I wouldn't say you guys uh, bullied me per se, but it was, it was it, you, yeah, you guys used to make fun of me pretty hard because I used to fish out of this kayak right here. We used to call it the banana kayak on this channel. So if you're new here, this is the banana. And if you can see right here, it's uh, not very stable. And it was about $250 when I was 10. No, oh God, no, like six. We had a condo up in Lake Winnipesaukee. I used to take this thing out to Lake Winnipesaukee all the time with my dad. So this was my starting kayak and I've been using it, I don't even know, like 10 years now. So once I started YouTube, my dad goes to school, went to school with this guy named Jamie Spinelli, who's also a good friend of mine, avid fisherman. He let me use this kayak one time. I went to his house and I picked this kayak up and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever and I love this kayak because it was so stable and it was comfortable. But it was super heavy for pretty much no reason so I didn't love it but it was an upgrade and this still isn't even a nice kayak but compared to banana, the orangish one right here, it was so much better. But after a long time I wanted to sit on top, especially when I started hanging out with Todd and he had a sit on top kayak, uh, I wanted one really bad because you have a lot more space and it looks so much more comfortable. That is when I got the red one right here which I don't even know if I can stand on this one. Big red. The big red. <laughs> okay, this kayak, I, I feel like I haven't really talked about this one that much because when I first got this kayak, I did a video on it and I talked to you guys about it and I might have said it in the video, this kayak is not stable at all. Like it's really, really scary. And every time I got on the kayak, I like hung on for dear life. If I like hook set too hard, I thought I was gonna flip the whole entire kayak. Could never take this thing out in the ocean if I ever wanted to. I feel safer in the banana than this one. And this is the most expensive out of the three. Like it literally goes up by price, like like 100, uh, 150, 250 for the yellow one. This one was like, I don't know, like 500. And then this one I got way cheaper than the actual price for it. But this one right here, like uh, retail, I think is like 1300. I might be wrong on that one, but I, I paid like half that because it was used. So um, yeah, this kayak was awesome for the time being. But of course I wanted something bigger and better because I fish every single day. Literally every day I bank fish on my boat and kayak fish a ton. So this is where we go to the brand new kayak that I'm about to show you guys. I haven't really even looked at it. So we're gonna go look at it together with Todd. Cause <laughs> Todd's a G for being a cameraman right now. <laughs> but he just got off work. Go check out his channel, it'll be linked down below. Go subscribe to him. He makes okay videos. Just okay. Just okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so. Yesterday, this came in the mail and I was really confused because I was told like my kayak was coming yesterday It actually came today But this box contains like all the essentials for the kayak So we're gonna open this one up since this is literally the first thing I received also Todd can help me like I don't even know what half the stuff in here is so I know this is a seat. That's common sense So I got the seat Which is sick um, And then they gave me a bunch of random stuff to like uh, fish the, grippers? Yeah, fish grippers right here. Oh, the, 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 those go into your... Oh my god, no way! That's sick. Okay, no one probably understood that whole thing <laughs> that we just did. We just did that. <laughs> this is, uh, it goes into my kayak. Like, if you see it right here, it shows you that it goes in this kayak. That is sick! Okay, cool. That's interesting. This one I know, because it's a rod holder. Still don't know, I know this one goes in here too. I, there must be a section that I put all this stuff in. I, I don't really know. This right here is a Minport tr trace mount. Oh my God, this is for a GoPro. Oh, that's sick. Okay, we might be doing some cool stuff. I ordered this off Amazon. This is a paddle grip, a paddle, paddle grip. grip. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> what did I say? Crip? Crip. <laughs> Blood and Crips. <laughs> this, uh, uh, it looks like you can put your phone on that too. That'd be kind of cool. We can uh, watch some Netflix and catch some fish. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, fish, Netflix and fish, chill. You know, you know that saying. <laughs> uh, quick grip, paddle clip. I literally, like all this stuff is really random. This is the same thing as this. So they gave me two of these. This is the crazy thing that, I mean, you guys probably don't even know just yet. This kayak right here is a pedal drive kayak. I can't believe I just said that. I own a pedal drive kayak. So jealous. Ah, <laughs> I have no words. Then they gave me the pedal drive system. So this came in the mail yesterday and I looked at this and I, it literally looks like it's from outer space. This is the pedal drive, part of the pedal drive system. So you open that one up. We got the, the foot, foot thingies. The it, pedal. Yeah, it feels really weird. Feel it. Yeah, it looks, that's cool as hell. <laughs> and then they gave me like extra fins, you know? Yeah, cause you'll probably break one. I will break one, 100%. Um, straps, and then obviously I have two feet, so there's that. And then that's the end of this box. So this came yesterday, and then this came today. This is the Born Salty Breakwater 12. This thing is a absolute beast. But what I'm gonna do for you guys right now is I'm gonna put the seat on here with Todd and then give you the whole rundown of the kayak because holy crap. <laughs> That's a mess, dude. That's so bad. Okay, Todd and I are gonna put the seat on this and then we'll see you guys in a second. This is so bad. I couldn't figure out how to do the seat, but Todd finally this? just did it. I'm gonna angle this. Yeah. Into there like that. So it's like a clip on. Like come look from behind. Yeah, no, I see what you mean. See what I did? Yep. You push. These them. are all scupper plugs. You're probably gonna want to take most of them out. And then you clip them. Man, yeah, that works great. That seat ain't going nowhere. <laughs> That's like super stable. Here, I want to sit on it. I can't see. Dude, I feel like a real kayaker now. <laughs> Oh my god. I really hope that I can stand up in this. Like, I know nothing about this kayak. I know nothing. So let's just put it out there. Literally nothing about this kayak. I see this. I'm guessing this is like a dry box. So let's open this one up. Oh, I got it. There we go. Next phone. All right, yeah. So definitely gonna put my phone in there. Like anything you don't wanna get wet is gonna be right here. But in some kayaks, like the dry box will be like behind you or something or like way too far in front of you. So this is perfect. Like this is exactly how most kayaks should be. Like that one. Like that one, exactly. That's a, yeah, my, the hurricane, I couldn't even use the dry pull box. pull over. Yeah, <laughs> and get completely out because you, if you try again in the dry box on the red kayak, you're tipping over. <laughs> so I've never actually uh, had a dry box that I could use. So that's awesome. God, this thing feels so sturdy. This thing right here, lefty, this is your rudder, which is going to be used for your pedal drive that is currently not installed. Your pedal drive is going to be right in here. Well, you can use that all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. Is it? In, did we put the... It's permanently there. Oh. Watch. It's in the grass. <laughs> it's like the thing in the <laughs> Okay. So this right here is where the pedal drive goes, which is... I'm going to have to figure this out when I go fishing. There's going to be situations where you don't need a pedal drive. And I'm glad that they thought about that too, because some kayaks, you only have that pedal drive and you can't take it out. But for this kayak, say you're in a grassy situation, this thing can be in here when you don't have the pedal drive. So say you don't want to have the pedal drive in, all you have to do is take this out. And if you can see, that's the grass right there. So, I mean, this is when you just don't have the pedal drive in. You just put this thing in here. It makes it feel more safe and secure. You don't even need this in when you don't have the pedal drive in, but it's nice to have it. So that's where the pedal drive goes, which we're not going to put in today. But let's make our way to the front of the kayak and talk about whatever is going on over there. All right, so let's see what's going on in the front. These clips. Yeah, I mean, that's just more storage. Tackle. Tons of tackle. Yeah, like a ton of tackle can fit up there. That is so sick. Huge. This is your drain plug. Very nice, convenient. Oh, we got rod holders. Ah. All right, so back here. God. Another dry box. Oh, the bag. Oh, okay. So the bag obviously makes it like 100% dry proof. So, um, cause sometimes water can get in here and sit right here and like, yeah, so this, this is going to help it like a lot. So we got three dry store, stored spacious, spacious, spaces. 
figuring this kayak out one, <laughs> one, one day at a time. And then right here, you lift this bad boy up, rod holder. You lift this one, well, this one's already up, rod holder. We got three dry storage spaces. We got pedal drive, two rod holders, a comfy seat, a stable kayak. And not to mention, this is a saltwater kayak. So I can put in fresh water and put in salt water. When you put something that's like fr made for fresh water and salt water, it's a little sketchy. But when you take something that's salt water already and put it in fresh water, it's just, it's completely different and you're completely fine. So I can use this in big lakes, small lakes, and the ocean, which is so exciting. Born salty, salty salt water, you know. These things right here, this is gonna be like GoPro mount, which is gonna be really exciting because I've never had anything for a GoPro mount. Where, look, do you see that, this right here? This is like, I made this for my GoPro. So when I had this red kayak, I like went to the store. You can buy these at CVS and I like made a GoPro mount, but I couldn't get to my GoPro over here because my kayak was so unstable. So it was pointless actually, but I did make it, which was fun. But yeah, guys, this is it. I mean, we got the banana, the orange, the, what'd you call this? Big red. Big red. What do we call this? Oh my God. Booger. <laughs> booger <laughs> drop comment uh drop a name down below whatever you guys want to name the kayak i, I kind of like the name booger but i don't want to say that like, welcome back guys you're going fishing out in the booger that's really weird i don't like that no it was a joke but um yeah guys if you guys want to go check out this kayak it'll be linked down below they did give me a code if you guys want to save a bunch of money on this kayak but I can't tell you guys if I like it or not because I've never actually used it. First impressions, it's better than anything I've ever owned. Clearly, you guys saw it, so I wanted to lay out all the kayaks and show you guys. Bad, good. So, we'll see. I'm gonna probably take it out either tomorrow or the next day, so maybe not the next video will be out on it, but the video after that. Test trial it, take it out in the ocean where it's meant to be, check out the pedal drive, and probably not do everything correctly because I have no idea anything about this kayak. <laughs> crabs up there oh my god talk seasons around so you uh when you when you talk fish in new england use crabs that could literally be a live well That's so sick. <laughs> yeah i don't know i'm just so happy none of this would have been possible without you guys so thank you so much and thank you to todd for filming today's episode i am so excited for this freaking kayak man it's so beautiful i love that it's neon green and like so obnoxious <laughs> Well, I, it's I look good like an for, ant next to it. Especially being in the ocean, it's good to be visible. Seen. Yeah, like, like if I was using like a black kayak, it would no boy no. We gotta get you a flag. Yeah, yeah, we a bright orange flag. flag. I need a flag. I'm gonna put it in the probably the bay or something just to be safe. Props living in the city. You hear that? Yeah, that's what happens when you live in the city. <laughs> All right, everybody. I showed you guys banana, orange, uh, the hurricane, which was really good to me for the time being. And now the born salty breakwater 12. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much to Todd. He'll be linked down below for helping me film today's video. I'm just so excited. I don't even know what to do with myself. I've never had something so nice in my entire life. So it'll be linked down below. Uh, there's a code that they gave me that you guys save a bunch of money. I think I already said that a little bit, but I don't know if I can recommend this kayak to you guys just yet. I want to be brutally honest, but I don't like it. I'm going to say what I don't like and what I like about it, but I will be taking it out and giving you guys more of like um, an honest review besides of an unboxing like today is and then I'll give you guys a complete rundown of how I feel about it The pedal drive everything comfort stability. Can I stand in this thing? Are the dry boxes actually dry because most of the time they actually aren't <laughs> The nine the whole nine yards. So Hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you guys so much for the view and support I am so thankful for all of you guys. I can't even put it into words. This is like life-changing to me. So thank you. None of this would be possible without you guys. I'm ending off the video here. I know it was a short and sweet video, but I'm pretty jacked right now. Todd and I are gonna play with my new toy over there. And uh, yeah, drop names down below, whatever you guys wanna call the new kayak. Thank you guys for everything. I'll catch you guys next time.
Thank you.